Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to a rather windy riverbank, as you can see over my shoulder. I'm down a small river. I've come out today to a very local stretch down this tiny little river because uh, they forecast it to chuck it down in the rain any time now. And I just thought I'd nip out just for an hour or two, just till we get uh, like drowned rats. <laughs> just see if I could winkle a fish or two out of this small river. This is a small river that I've been struggling at, a uh, new ticket for me. I've uh, been down here a couple of times, as I mentioned a few videos ago, and had, I think, one day each time. <laughs> it's been very hard going. Now, with this rain that's due, this river's going to be up again. It comes up very, very quickly. And uh, so I wanted to get a little session in. So we've only got two weeks of the season left. We might not be able to get down here again, looking at the weather. It's been very un unstable again this week. So yeah, I thought we'd come and get a session in. It's clearing. It's uh, still up a reasonable amount, but not too much. And as I say, it's clearing. So uh, I'm going to stop waffling, I think. <laughs> get on with it. Just quickly, I'll run you through the gear. I've got my Drennan Ultralight Mini Feeder here. I can do a little bit of either fishing with a small ledger or a, a link ledger. I've got bread, maggots and worms with me. And a little bit of Census 3000 ground bait. It might go on one of those little feeders as I like to do. Right, that's definitely enough waffling. We need to get do some fishing before we get soaked. <laughs> so, first swim. We've got a bit of faster water upstream. Up there, as you can see. Running off. We've got a big bit of slack in front of us here, but... Probably be a bit better if it was a bit deeper, because I can pretty much see the bottom all the way across there. So I'm going to concentrate just a little bit further downstream there. Can use one of these little Preston feeders, tiny little thing. Just get a little bit of smell in the water, so we can encourage a bite. I'm going to use my old faithful bread, I think, first off. A real last minute session, this. I really wasn't sure I was going to be coming. It was one of those, the rain's due, what shall I do? forecast by accu weather to be to be raining already but clearly it's not but well, i don't fancy a soaking I'm, I'm all waterproofed up but i don't fancy a soaking particularly but i do want to make the most of the rest of the season it's, uh, it's certainly on its way i think it's definitely some rain in the air it's spitting at the moment right i've got a very small hook on here currently but that's all right might be some nice roach around or something like that hopefully right let's uh i'm gonna drop this just in that just in the middle of that flow that's running through there just first off and then we'll we'll perhaps move our way further down the stretch we'll cast a bit further down if we're not getting anything in here. We're gonna start off casting down there and catching fish down there if we're gonna catch fish under our feet. So I don't think I am, I can pretty much see the bottom in here. Here comes the rain. <laughs> I'm gonna spend most of this session all wrapped up. Ooh. Going Bob wire. To be honest, I'll be glad today if we can winkle a nice fish out. I'll be glad. Anything over a pound and a half, I'll be very happy with today, to be honest. Where well, I've been struggling on this stretch. So, like getting towards that time of year as well, where you've got to decide whether or not you're going to keep your ticket or what exactly you're going to do. And I haven't fished this place all year. It's more of a winter venue, and I kind of forgot I had it, to be honest. Stupidly. But it has been fishing tough. My friend Mick fishes here and he's been struggling as well. So it is one of those where you sort of need to decide whether you want to... Whether you, I don't want to cast it there. to get it out in the current. Whether you want to keep your ticket or not for next year. I'll have a quick go there and then we'll get it a bit further down. I'll have a proper flick out in the flow or over towards that that bit of slack over there 
Well, I've pretty much got the forecast right. Annoying. It's raining, but uh, can't moan at them for getting it right. Very annoying when they get it wrong, but uh, can't really moan when they get it right. <laughs> Here it comes. It's supposed to be like this till later on this evening. Hopefully we can catch them and make it worthwhile. Never been up this end of this stretch before. Sort of started at the opposite end than the other two times I've been. But, uh, thought I'd give it a go up here. Have a walk down to where I've where I've been before. Not a lot going on in here though. I think we'll make a move. What I might do. Just chuck a little bit of bait in over there. Looks a nice spot just over there. So we've got to come back this way anyway, so we can we can have a walk back this way. I'll perhaps drop into there if we fancy it. So we've got a nice bit of cover on the other side. There's sort of a bit of slack and then raft, another bit of slack. Another bit of overhanging cover. So it's got to be worth it going here. <laughs> Everything's so muddy. We'll uh, drop this over. I'm sure, there must be some some chub hanging about in there. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Well, I would. <laughs> I'm going to do it like that, though. That's it. We won't go too mad first. A bit of depth in there. I'm not going to go too close to those tree roots first off. Point in uh, being su suicidal first off. We'll have a cast there and we'll have a cast a bit closer if we don't do any good. I'm amazed how few bites I'm getting there. It's just uh, it's very strange. I'm amazed we're not getting bites. Even off, like I say, minnows or, you know, dace or something like that. Gobsmacked. This river just seemed, <laughs> just seemed a little bit out of sorts, according to my mate Mick. As I say, I'm doing no good in here at all. Right, that's much further into those roots. Well... Not even a nibble of anything. <laughs> I think we're in uh, in trouble today. <clears throat> Never mind. We're gonna get wet. We are getting wet. But maybe, just maybe, we can winkle something out. Right. I'll have a move a bit further down the street, as I said. Try that next bit of cover. And then we'll uh, maybe move on around the corner. And the weather forecast for the rest of the week is supposed to be unsettled. But uh, not as bad as today. So we're uh, planning on getting a bit of fishing in the rest of the week. And hopefully it won't be anything like today. <laughs> Because this, uh, this rain is definitely set in now. It's only going to get heavier, I believe.
Brian, let's swing this over there. Well, that bit of cover, I've been on the other side over there. A bit of slack underneath it, a bit of current going past the front. Let's uh, give it a go. Ah, I'd like to have been a bit closer than that, but close enough. There's actually not much depth in there either. You might be able to uh, attract something out. The advantage of that, that little feeder is the fish can, can smell that bit of ground bait coming out of the feeder. Hopefully that will pull them out of the cover or enable them to find the bread. Ground baits mix it fairly dry so it's coming out pretty quickly to get pretty instant reaction really. We're just fishing for a bite at a time. And so I just want it to be smell. It's coming out nice and quickly. All right, we've had a pull. And another one, wow. Come on, pull it properly. <laughs> it's one of those, don't hit it too soon. This is a very sensitive quiver to it. There we go. Now, ah, what's this? Strange fight. Is it a chub? I'm assuming it's a chub. It is a chub. I thought me landing that at first. Way! <laughs> My first proper fish from this river. <laughs> Wonderful. I didn't get his breath. A funny old fight. I think he gets breath back and then we'll, uh, we'll have a look at him. No monster, but uh, very welcome. <laughs> well, there we are. Certainly not the biggest chub in the world, but uh, very, very grateful to have caught this one. <laughs> Wonderful. Right. As I often say, I'm going to keep him in the net down there. We'll... Uh, See if we can winkle another one out. Not a lot of experience of this river, but lots of the rivers I fish. Smaller rivers, once you've had one fish, it's often it, but you never know. There might be a few of them hanging around under there. And if that one's popped out on his own to have a bit of grub, his mates might not have seen what was going on. Or what went on, even. <sighs> if I find a bit of bread, put it on. <laughs> funny old bite as well. I did think it was like a roach or something messing about with it. Such a finicky, funny bite. That's why I waited. But, uh, we landed him, that's the main thing. Right. There we go. We've got another five minutes or so to see if we can uh, perhaps catch one of his friends as well. He's in a landing net down here. He's uh, perfectly happy. Well, <laughs> perfectly healthy. Probably not happy. But worth an hour or so getting wet to do a bit of an explore up here and actually catch a fish. No, nothing else doing I We'll uh, get this fella back and move. Back you go, fella. <laughs> there he goes.
right, on to the next. That's it, not a nibble. Nothing whatsoever in there. <laughs> so yeah, definitely time to call it a day. Well, sort of achieved a couple of things this session. Had a look at the top of this stretch and of course, finally had a fish of more than a few ounces from, from here. So very pleased about that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get another session in here, I think before the end of the season. But for now, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching me getting soaked. <laughs> Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your wonderful support. And I'll see you all again very soon.